Hi everyone, we start our lesson again. There's a 6.2 human movement and also the group. Okay, let's see the detail. Okay, human movement and glow. Let's see the first part that says the skeleton system and the muscle enable the human to move. Okay, next, the contraction and uh, relaxation. So that means the movement for the skeleton must talking about the contraction and also the relaxation. Okay, the muscle after they produce a movement. Okay, let's see the skeleton, the muscle act in a pair. Okay, they got pair, but both in move in opposite direction to each other. Okay, every muscle pair that act in opposite direction, we call it as a antagonistic muscle. Okay, antagonistic muscle. Okay, now we're going to go through the next one. Okay, let's see the antagonistic movement of the muscle to bend the straighten the arm. Okay, we got two situations. First one is a bending. Number two is a straighten. Okay, let's see the first one. We got two muscle. One is bicep, another one is a uh, tricep. Okay, let's see here. Labor. Okay, this one is a bicep, then this one is a tricep. Okay, center is a dendon. Dendon is joined with two of the bone. Okay, let's see when contract. When contract, the bicep should, uh, sorry, not when bending. When you just bend your arm, the bicep that will contract. Okay, the tricep how? Tricep will be relaxing. Okay, then we go and see the relaxing means the extend, uh, extend become longer. Okay, when the arm should be straightened, now the balik. So that means I call it as an antagonistic opposite direction. So the tricep now become contract. Then the bicep now become straightened. So straighten, then relax. Lah. So this one situation, both muscle they will move in opposite direction. Okay, let's see the next one, movement of the joint, hinge joint. Okay, let's see the bicep muscle, tricep muscle. Bicep is above, tricep is the bottom. Okay, now we see the ligament. Okay, ligament is at the bottom here. They want to join these two bones. Okay, after that, with this whole thing, we call it that's a hinge joint. Okay, hinge joint. Okay, then we're going to see the ulnar and radius. Okay. Remember again, ulnar is at the top. Uh, sorry, radius is at the top, ulnar at the bottom one. Okay, this one is the joint movement, movable of the joint. Okay, then we go to the next one. Okay, this one is, uh, uh, we see how the function of the ligament and also the muscle for the hinge joint. Okay, ligament. Okay, ligament this part. Okay, ligament is made up of the connective tissue. Linking the two bones, okay, join with two bones. Okay, there's a tough, strong, and also elastic, and able to hold and also connect the bone and allow the movement. So this one is a function for the ligament. Okay, let's see the muscle. Muscle is separated by tricep and pi uh, bicep. Okay, tissue that formed by the aligned fiber. Okay, contract and also relax. Then finally, they produce the movement. Okay, antagonistic muscle uh, muscle pair. Okay, they're working in the opposite direction. So antagonistic muscle means they say about the bicep and also the tricep working in opposite direction when you are straighten your arm and also when you bending your arm. Okay, then we go to the next one. Okay, the next one become the okay synovial free cartilage and also the tendon okay let's see the synovial fluid okay synovial fluid means here they got some of the liquid here okay this one is a bone bottom also is a bone okay this one is a tendon this one is a cartilage okay cartilage at the middle when they want to move that means you are crashed to each other this one we call cartilage because you got crash to each other that's why they will need to put a smooth uh, some like I was using the grease is it become more smoother reduce the friction so this one just like the okay just like the liquid to help you to easy to move it so when the people become already you find it when they move then produce the sub cock, 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 like this is it so this one is a synovia fluid okay let's see what is a synovia fluid okay synovia fluid means a lubricant uh, just like the lubricant oil okay in the joint they supply the nutrients to the 
cartilage nutrient for the cartilage so when you got, uh, got nutrient at the cartilage that means when you move already they are more smoothy okay now you see here the cushion uh, cartilage is what cartilage is one of the cushion they want to protect your joint okay reduce the friction absorb the impact during the movement okay reduce the friction if not it's very pain okay now we're going to see the tendon okay this has a tendon tendon function the, there's a connected muscle to the bone Okay, strong and inelastic. Then after that, they say the muscle contraction force will be transferred to the bone through the tendon. Okay, transfer from the bone, then go to the tendon. So this one is a function for the three structure. There's a synovial fluid, cartilage, and also the tendon. Okay, then we go to the next one. Okay, let's see the process when you are bending and when you are straightened. Okay, let's see the first part. First part is uh, you bend your arm. Okay, they say contraction of the bicep. Okay, contraction for a bicep. Now your tricep is relaxing. Okay, now the tendon you pull. Pull what? Pull the radius. Okay, upwards. When you just bend, the radius will go to the upwards. Okay, after that, the arm will be bent. Okay, the second part when you straighten. Straighten is contraction of the tricep. Okay, contraction of the tricep. After that, the tendon will pull the ulnar downwards. Okay, pull the ulnar downwards. Then the last one you cannot see is it. That one should be uh, the arm now is straightened. Okay, straightened is the ulnar function. They go downwards. When you want the bending, that one is a radius function. Okay, then both sides also is contract. Okay, contract must do the work. Relax actually, they never do the work. Okay, so this one is how they bending. Okay, then we go to the next one. Human growth pattern. Okay, let's see the human growth pattern is a process. The changes in the term for the size, your size, your total number of the cell in your body, your weight, your shape, and also the body function. So this one when your baby until now. Uh, this one is uh, the thing physical change for yourself. Then you also can be seen it. Okay, now you see the this process must be permanent. You cannot change one and irreversible. Okay, irreversible means you cannot reject. You cannot say, oh, I don't want to grow. Cannot. So they must process continuous. Then this one they increase the number of the cell in your body. Okay, they occur the whole body. Okay, and it's different according to the sex and also your age. Different age, different development. Different sex, also different of the development. Okay, now we're going to coding. We're going to see the every age, lah, what's the changes. Okay, let's see this one is a diagram for the human growth state. Uh, everybody also can learn one. Okay, you cannot say you don't want. Okay, let's see the first one is the infancy. When you are baby. Okay, after that become the childhood. Child O is when you study. Okay, when you study primary school until you go to the uh your after the university, the one is called childhood. Okay, after that adolescent means when you start to working. Okay, when you start to working, okay, you uh married. Okay, after that they will become adulthood. Okay, adulthood means you marry already, then you got son, then you got wife, I got husband. This one is adulthood. And finally, okay, then you need to until 60 something above lah. Okay, maybe you become grandfather, grandmother already. Then that one, we call it OH. So this one is uh, how the arrangement, okay, how the growth, okay, of the uh, human being. Okay, now we go and see the next one. Okay, every part we go to explain lah. Infancy means you start from the zero. Zero years until three years. This part you grow very fast. Okay, the cell division occur active. So when your baby, you learn the thing very fast one. When somebody talking with you, then you understand already. Then you talk back. Okay, when talking about the English, then you also can be learned. So this situation, you are fast to be learned something. Okay, childhood. Childhood is until 3 to 13 years old. That means from your uh, kindergarten, then you go to your... Uh, the primary school so they say growth rate becomes low already okay compared to the infancy state lah 
but you still grow but slow compared to the babies okay now adolescent means you start to learning for uh, the primary uh, primary school finish you go to secondary school then you go to university 13 to 20 years okay grow rate rapid until 15 okay grow of the female teenager will slow down 18 years old and stop so that means when the teenagers that during the secondary school you find the girl you find a female during the primary school wow so tall then all the boys more kids okay is it because they grow faster they mature faster okay until 18 years old suppose the female will be stopped already then the male will continue they will until 20 years old so this one male when they go to the form 5 or university suddenly become very tall already uh, then this one is the teenagers continue to be grow okay then we go to the next one next one is adulthood already that means you start to working okay start to working until you go to marry until you get the daughter or son okay let's see here grow minimum that means you cannot say oh i increase the height already no more finish already maybe you increase the fats ah okay so from this part they grow minimum human growth become constant then zero grow until old age you don't have any growth okay then after that you until the old age so until the old age let's see what happened okay old age human grow very uh, be closer to complete to stop ready don't have any glowing stop some more human body will become uh, will become strain strain means you are uh, man, man so, okay become a uh, smaller maybe some old did you find it become shorter already okay then after that the muscle part will become uh, weak okay not well already then the skin also got problem already so this one is a old age state problem okay so this one is uh, the grow the human grow lah. okay now you see the curve part okay when you plot the graph the graph become the curve okay let's see the first one grow rapid that one is the infancy then you fight it childhood go down a little bit okay not so fast at the infancy now adolescent up again okay this one is when you study primary uh second uh, secondary school and also university okay when you become adulthood working ready married ready okay now you see your growth is constant when you become old age, negative grow and uh, come down already. Size of the body will be reducing. So this one we call human grow curve. Okay, then we're going to see the differences grow for the male and female. Okay, infancy state, early childhood actually is nothing happened. Male and female is the same rate. Grow become the same rate. Okay, male will grow a little more rapid okay, during the age four. Okay, after that, female property, okay, matang, eh? okay, property will begin earlier, between the 12 years to 14, okay, that's a uh, standard 6, until uh, form 4, like this lah, that one will be begin earlier, so you'll find the uh, female more taller, and increase the weight, okay, they grow rapidly, they are taller and also heavier compared to the male at the same age. So that's why you see the form one, the form one boy, a very small kicks one, very small size. And then suddenly form four, form five, wow, you find it become taller already. So after the age 14, so male will undergo rapid growth. Okay, now after that compared to the female. Female is after 14 or 15, nothing already. Actually, they stop already. They cannot increase more. But this time the male will increase more. Okay, the height will be increased more compared to the female. Okay, you see the uh, the graph to show the differences between the male and female. Okay, dotted line is stand for the female. Okay, dotted line is a female. Okay, let's see when starting. When starting, when you zero years old until four or five years old lah, female and male should be the same lah, the height. Okay, until after five years old, then you go to the six years old. Uh, sorry, five years old, they go until this part. Okay, five years old, 
Then you go until this part. Then maybe we can say this one is the childhood. La. Childhood is uh, the male is more faster, rapid. So they see they grow until this part. The female is less a little bit. Okay, when the female become stronger, that's a 12 years old. That means after your primary school, then you go to the secondary school. Ah, this part, you see the female. Okay, they were older than the male. So this part, you find it become taller. Okay, until there, the female no more already. Stop, then constant. Okay, then after that continuous, the male still can increase the height. Okay, until years 20. Okay, that one is uh, between relationship, the male and female, the growing curve. Okay, so make sure every state you know the differences. Lah. Okay, then no more already. So this one is what I want to send about the 6.2, just a short. So I will give you the exercise. Okay, through the Google Classroom. Then this video also will upload in the Google Classroom. So for the student, you are not free, that means you can refer later. When you do the exercise, you also can be refer this, uh, this one PowerPoint. Okay, thank you for your watching. Thank you very much. Thank you.